Sorry, Nelly. There's room for only one girl in my life, so you've got to go. Damn. <sighs> <sighs> How come you're never there when anyone else is around? No one believes you exist. This scares me. But you don't have I just want you to meet my friend. She needs to know you're real. Karen, get in here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I'm glad to see you, too. You haven't gotten rid of the computer yeah, yet. Not yet. See, there's a new message. Read it for yourself. You'll see I'm not crazy. There's nothing there. So you're saying you're ready to move on? Yes. Okay, uh, good. That's that's good. I, I'm I'm um, I'm just a little curious after everything you said about not wanting to let go. I uh, I guess I had. A had to let go of a lot of things recently. You're just the last on a very long list. Just know what you're getting in return. A chance for freedom, a chance for a, a, a wonderful new life. And what you're getting is the woman you love. You're getting Eve. See, there's nothing wrong with us getting to know each other a little more intimately after all these years. Exactly. I am a woman with needs. Which the good Irish doctor clearly isn't meeting. He said that we'd be together always. Oh, sweetie. Guys tend to say that. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Wait around forever? You have way too much self-respect for that. Yeah. You know, I'm so tired of all this fate and, and being together through the years crud. You know, it's all just a bunch of heartache. It is. What have I been telling you all this time? Love isn't worth it. Especially when you can have so much fun simply being friends. Company. Uh, nobody could be better company than you. Come on, Chris. It's taking so long. Goodness, wow. I like my moves, huh? I love your moves. I've always loved your moves, but this, you yeah, did yourself. What prompted you? Prompted me to take my biker babe for a ride? No, to buy a motorcycle. I don't know. I guess I figured you shouldn't be the only unpredictable one in the family. You just called us a family. I guess we are. You and Serena, me and Livy, kind of uh, like a family. Except for Livy, she's still very angry, I think. Well, I had a talk with her, and I think we worked it out. She actually forgave you for lying to her about me and Jack? Yeah. Yeah, I think she did. I am so relieved. I, I cannot tell you how relieved I am that she and happy. Really, I'm very, very happy for you and for Livy. Thank you. I'm pretty happy about it myself. She she just didn't happen to maybe mention, you know, somebody else she might be interested in forgiving, huh? Didn't mention you once. Oh. But she did bring up Jack. 
She did? What did she say? Oh, I think she's about this close to taking him back, and I didn't even try to talk her out of it as much as I wanted to. See? Along with that motorcycle, you are making karmic progress. Then why do I have such a bad feeling about it? Because you're her dad, and dads are supposed to worry. I mean, you're her father. It's okay, but you know what? I really believe that Jack's going to surprise you. That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, come on. He has a, a good soul, you know, underneath that cocky little smile and that misdirectional haircut, you know? He's okay. He's, he's going to be okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Ooh. Yeah, I can see that. I know this is hard on you, but you're a beautiful young woman, and you have your whole life. That's what I said to Eve. What? I told Eve that she was beautiful, smart, and funny, and that she could get any man she wanted, except you. Why would you say that? Because I knew how committed you were to me. Committed, yes. But not in love. Funny thing about love, Ariana, when it happens to you, and it will, there'll be no trying involved. All you have to do is sit back, love, be loved. Ariana, come on. No, I can't. I'm sorry for all the troubles I've caused. There's no troubles. I need some time alone. You sure? Yes. Okay. Ian, thank you for all you've done for me. No, no, you have to answer the door because Kevin didn't answer the door for me and I got hit by... See, I told you someone's at the door. I'll, I'll get it. Okay, here, you sit down. Come on. Okay. And don't move. All right. All right, stay right there. Yeah, and the I'm gonna... Good doctor will make you feel better. Hey. <laughs> didn't expect you. Yeah, I, um, I needed someone to talk to. It's kind of been a rough week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks. What took you so long to answer the door? Oh, a uh, patient. Oh, a, a, a patient at, at home? Well, no, not at home. Of course not. No, it's, uh, it's on the phone. Oh. Um, it's a serious condition. It's heart trouble. Oh, I'm sorry. But, um, look, if it's okay, I'll just wait, because I could really use a friend right now. Yeah, let me. You know, about, about friends. About friends what? Um... It, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm glad that you feel that you can turn to me. Yeah, well, why wouldn't I? <laughs> you always know the right thing to say, and... Hey, Chris? Hmm? Your patient? The, the phone? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we're finished. We're not finished. I mean, I have to call her back. Her, you know, Mrs. Martini. Uh, look, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry, uh... I'm so preoccupied with this. It's, it's, uh, could, could we do this later? What do you say we meet at the recovery room in like a half an hour? Uh, you know, I'm probably gonna need about an hour, hour and a half, and then I'll, I'll, I'll be all set. Uh, how about I see you there? You really give me something to look up to. I, I just hope I'm as dedicated as you are when I'm a resident. Oh, well, you know, that's me, you know, Mr. Dedicated. <laughs> to the human body. Eve? Eve? Where did she go? Eve? Oh, that's perfect. That's just perfect. I know it. Frank, you gotta get a grip. 
Some wires or a thingamajigs must have got twisted in the computer, and you're getting junk mail from cyberspace. That's all. I got it. The sooner Nellie is permanently retired, mm. the better. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, do you do you want to say a few final words before I pull the plug? No. But I'll sign a DNR. Absolutely do not resuscitate. <laughs> The governor. Oh. Looks like Nellie has a few hours reprieve while I take care of this emergency at work. <sighs> okay, don't get nuts, Frank. Okay, just keep remembering that old Nellie did her job. She brought us together, and that's what's important. So let's just concentrate on us in her memory. When you are right, you're right, Wexler. All right. I'll see you later. They were back together. Wait, you said Livy was this close. Getting well, back this together close is good for me. Lucy. No, come on. I have half a mind to go over there and give him a what for, you know? Uh, why don't you use the other half of mine and just sit down? This isn't exactly. It's the perfect time. Come on, Doc. You go distract Livy. I'm gonna go over there and give the lover boy a piece of my mind. Go. <laughs> That's when you hooked up with Zach and the guys. Pretty much. And did they ever get into any trouble? <laughs> Boy, your friend Jamal really did a number on your head. Look, I have no idea why he's so down on us. And I don't care. It's you I'm interested in. Right. Uh, why, why don't I grab us a beer? Sure. Make it dark. I like them nice and potent. Actually, you know what? You don't know me, and I don't know you, and I don't think we'd even ever want to know each other, but I'm going to do you a really big favor. Sit down. Talk to me for a minute. Well, thank you, but um, I'm meeting Chris. <laughs> you know I've been thinking Don't about tell that. me you're going to try and talk me out of it. No, please. no. Talk you out of what? It's just... I'm a dad, and dads worry. I know, but Chris has been really great to me, which is more than I could say for his brother, so... Hmm. I had the feeling you were starting to soften up on Jack earlier, what with all that talk about following your heart or your head. Did, did anyone ever tell you that you you really overanalyzed Dr. Collins? All the time. But about dinner. Thanks, but another night, maybe. Okay. I'll be back. All right. Do you see that incredibly gorgeous man right over there? The one wearing that cool leather jacket. They call him Doc. Really? They call me Sneezy. Well, listen, Sleazy. Sneezy. I don't think you quite understand the seriousness of the situation you're in. You don't happen to know a man called Mr. Sonny Corinthos, do you? Yeah, I, I think you know him. And you must also know that he's a devotee of the Godfather. And what does that have to do with the price of cappuccino in Sicily? Well, see, that man over there, Doc, happens to be an employee of Mr. Corinthos, and he doesn't just sweep the floors if you get my drift. Not a clue. Really, does the word hitman mean anything to you? Oh, right. Ah, uh, you're not taking this seriously at all. Well, I'm not joking. They call him Doc because he holds the power of life and death in his hand. Are you beginning to get it? That man over there is a killer, a fiendish killer. And you see that girl walking over there to him? That woman happens to be his daughter. And 
the guy you just came in with? That girl is that guy's girlfriend. No, Jack didn't tell me he was with anyone. Well, you see, the two of them just had a little teeny weeny spat, that's all. But believe me, they are like this, this tight. And if Doc over there finds out that Jack is two time in his little girl with you, you and Jack will both be swimming with the fishies. Gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's totally my fault. Yeah, that's right, Jack. It is. Oh. My head feels like it's been through a trash compactor. <laughs> Why'd you let me drink so much anyway? It was your idea. Well, remind me never to have one of those again. Oh, what a horrible night. It wasn't entirely horrible. Oh, my God. We... Oh, oh, we, we almost, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, don't look at me like that, Ramsey. No matter how drunk I was or am or, or anything, I would never in a gazillion years have let you sleep with me and get me into bed. No. Well, I would have settled for the couch. No, I'm serious, Ramsey. If you had laid one finger on me, I would have punched your lights out. Seriously, you wouldn't have taken advantage of an abbreviated, of an, an even of a drunk woman, would you? You probably would have hated me in the morning, huh? I hate you now. Well, in that case, I will leave you by your lonesome. Actually have an appointment to get to anyway. Oh, sure, right, yeah, typical Ramsey. You don't get what you're looking for in one place, you move on to the next. You know something, Lambert? It would have been nice. Nice? More like a disaster. Oh, Oh, Eve, you are a disaster. You need to clean yourself up. Shower's good. Showers are always good. All right. Oh. Okay, Nelly, I'm giving you a few more minutes to answer, and then I am pulling the plug. Looks like you're a little wet. Why don't you just concentrate on your new girlfriend? You mean Sam? You're here with her. Listen, Jack, forget the beer. Let's just blow this place. Oh, and you must be Sam while well, I'm living. Yeah, I know who you are. You know, you can tell your dad I just met the guy, okay? I don't want any trouble. You told her what? Shh. Well, I had to do something to scare that little Twinkie off, and I just wish there was something I could do to scare Chris off. Lucy. My father happens to be a highly respected psychiatrist, and Jack... Jack is just somebody she used to know. Let's get a table. Doesn't she know her father's in the law? Who told you that? The lady over there. I'll, I'll tell you. Is it raining in here? You're not here. This isn't happening. This is just a figment of my seriously impaired imagination. And how is it this figment can talk? I don't know. And I don't care. I don't care, and I don't look like the rag that washed yesterday's dishes. Mm. I've seen you look worse. Thanks a lot. Here's an article you might like to see. <sighs> this can't be the same, Scanlon. The guy's dead. Damn it! If he and Thornhart set me up, everyone in Port Charles will regret it. What have I done to deserve this? Oh, well, don't worry about it. 
In fact, don't worry about anything. Don't worry about the way you look. Don't worry about messing up this carpet. And don't worry about my marriage to Ariana. She's given me my freedom. You and I are going to be together. For always. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Time in a bottle. Lipstick Port Charles. Why are you soaking wet? Frank was right. There's someone out there. Has Dr. Joe Scanlon checked in yet? The residents of Pine Valley always seem to be getting into trouble. Find out what they've stumbled into this time with All My Children, coming up next on SoapNet, soap watching made easy.